Yes, just a few hours ago, an FDA advisory committee endorsing booster shots of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Our Ethan Kibbe has been covering this story for us today, and Ethan joins us now live in the studio. Ethan, what does this mean for people who got the Johnson & Johnson shot, and when might booster doses become available? Mike and Eva, there are still a few more steps in the process of actually rolling out those booster doses, but today's advice, if it's followed by the FDA, could affect millions of Americans. The FDA Advisory Committee recommended booster shots for all adults who got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Experts say data suggests that that single-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine was never as effective as the two-dose Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Like the other two, though, it appears protection from the Johnson & Johnson shot does wane or deteriorate over time, with one expert saying today the J&J &J vaccine should have always been a two-dose vaccine from the beginning. The recommendation does have to be signed off on the CDC uh, by the CDC director. So I know that folks are really eager to, to get these boosters, um, but we'll have to wait probably about another week or so uh, for Johnson & Johnson and Moderna. And experts recommend the booster be given at least two months after the first shot. They say in some good news, it appears that after getting a second dose of the J&J &J vaccine, it appears that you'll have robust protection against the virus, at least that is strong as the protection from the other two uh, vaccines. Ethan Kippy, Erie News Now.